I've used Model Builder to import some Excel data to create this drainage design. You can see it in the 2D view here, and I've created a profile run along a few conduits here that I've displayed in the profile view here. Now you can see from the profile view that the invert elevations of the conduits match the invert elevations of the nodes. Sometimes this will be what you want, sometimes it won't. So let's see how we can use Model Builder to control this behavior. I've opened the Excel spreadsheet that contains the data that I've imported. I've got three sheets, one of which is the conduit table. We can see in the conduit table the names of the conduits, the start and stop nodes that they connect to, and the invert elevations at the ends of the conduits. By default, Model Builder will ignore the invert elevations of the conduits and assume that they should match the invert elevations of the nodes. Now, if we don't want that to happen, then we need to tell Model Builder. If I select one of these conduits in the profile view, you can see that the manipulators for the start and stop inverts are greyed out. If we look at the utility properties, and scroll on the drainage tab, scroll down, we can see that set invert to start and set invert to stop are set to true. And this is why the inverts are grayed out because they're being set to match the inverts of the nodes. So this is the setting that we need to influence in Model Builder. What I need to do is to set those two properties that we just saw, set invert to start and set invert to stop in the Excel data and then tell Model Builder to read them. So I can do this by adding a little bit of extra data to my conduits table in my Excel spreadsheet. You can see it here in red. So I've defined two new columns, set invert to start and set invert to stop. And I've set the value to zero. So this field in the drainage database is a Boolean, yes or no. So I need to set it to zero if I do not want to match the inverts and one if I do. So I've said zero so that the conduit inverts will not automatically be forced to match the node inverts. Now I've highlighted two rows of conduit data here. These are the first two conduits in my profile run here. And I've made some changes to these invert elevations. So the end of conduit SS19 is now a little higher than the invert of node SO7. And both ends of conduit SS20 are now a little higher than SO7 and SO6 nodes to which they connect. Let's save the spreadsheet, exit Excel. So I'm in the model builder panel now, and this is the drainage data type. So I've already got my model builder connection set up. I'm going to double click it to edit it. I'll turn on show preview and select the conduit table Scroll across to the right, there's our two new columns. And if we scroll down a little, there's our adjusted invert elevations. So we'll click next several times now to step through the wizard until we get to the stage where we define the mappings, where we map the, in this case, Excel data to our drainage properties. So if we select the conduit table, I've set up the mappings here. So here are my two columns from the Excel table, and I've mapped them to the set invert to start and set invert to stop properties. So we'll click next and we'll get through the wizard, build the model, click finish. Okay, the model has been updated 
43 conduits in the model have been updated. That's the only thing that changed from the previous run of Model Builder. So we can now close the Model Builder Summary panel, close the Model Builder panel, and click Yes to synchronize the data in the drawing with the data in the databases. And after a few moments, the profile run is updated. We can now see that the SS19 conduit has the stop invert elevation of 11.65, so it's higher than the node invert elevation. And conduit SS20 also is very slightly higher than the node elevation at the start and at the end. If we view the utility properties on the drainage tab of these conduits, we'll scroll down again. You can see set invert to start, set invert to stop, and now set to false because that's what we told Model Builder to do with that data. Now, by default, depending on your data, it's probably safest when you're importing Excel data through Model Builder to say that you want set invert to start and set invert to stop to be false and let the elevations of the conduits define themselves. If you don't have elevations for the conduits, then the default behavior of Model Builder, which will automatically lock the conduit inverts to the node inverts, is going to be a better bet. So depending on your data and your requirements, that's how you influence what Model Builder does with the information.